hello good afternoon there if you can hear me and if you're joining me this is an impromptu class and i will tell you why i have to come up with this in the last days several people have been sending me messages how do i plant cassava and what species do i plant somebody said i should do this somebody said i should do that and uh, I just felt I should share my experience. So many times I know I'll fix time and said I'll do this, but you see, it's not been easy. Come, come play the farm, working and working on so many projects, and um, I still have to be on the farm. So I will just be brief about this. We'll be discussing cassava right now. Okay, I just read something right now. The person said cassava, cassava is the easiest thing for you. So cassava is the easiest thing for you to plant. You just, uh, the person said, cassava is the easiest thing for you to plant. You don't need to plow or till the soil. You just put the stem down into the soil and then it produces for you. You see, that is so not true. In the, I'm going to share my experience and I'm going to tell you what, my experience with cassava and uh, the way you need to plant cassava if you really want to maximize your profits. Now, in 2013 or 12. I called on a group of people and said, look, let's go and plant cassava. Actually, I've, before calling on them, I've read so much on the internet, you know, where they wrote that you plant cassava, you plant cassava 18, you plant a nectar of cassava, and you can harvest 18 tons per hectare, yes. And then the calculation, they say you can harvest 30 tons per hectare. 30 tons is a, and the calculation they give us is that an hectare will be selling for like, that an hectare will be selling for like 18,000. So what I simply just did then is I just multiply 18,000 multiplied by 30. <laughs> multiply by 30 tons. 18,000 naira multiplied by 30 tons. And it's giving almost 600,000 on one hectare. And just like somebody is right now telling some other people, and just like somebody is telling you too, they are telling you that okay don't worry it's very simple you just cut the stem put it into the soil and you are good to go you have a start it off it is so not true it is not true i actually planted 20 hectares which is 50 acres now i will start with one if you are planting cassava there's no way you can get maximum yield from cassava if you don't till the soil you know what i mean by tilling the soil by making ridges if you don't make ridges as in you don't make your ridges the hips cassavas are tubers and because cassava has tubers the tubers for it to enlarge and expand it needs so it needs loose soil so if you just dig it into one soil and you're expecting one big tubers you are deceiving yourself cassava is like yam when you why did we make hips big hips for yam Farmer believes that when you are planting yam, the moment in, the bigger the hips, as in that mood they make, the bigger the mood, the bigger the size of the yam. So how then do you expect cassava to give you high yield, high big tubers without put tilling, without tilling the soil, without loosening the soil? So the number one thing is, if you are doing cassava first, my brother, my sister, make sure the soil is properly loose. You need to plow, even if you can afford, if you can afford, make ridges. It is inside that ridges that the tuba will expand and be able to get big. If you can afford, make ridges. If you don't make, you are just deceiving yourself. So you make ridges and till the soil. Forget about those people that just say, put the stem in and you get the result. That one sorted out. Another, I'm, I'm another mindset most of us have again about cassava is, okay, look, if you plant cassava, you have to plant TME419 or TGS 1212 and all these things. Honestly, I'm going to explain how it works for you. If you want to plant, if you plant, when I wanted to plant mine that time, I told you I planted 20 hectares. You will, you will, you will, I went to look for TME419 because they said this TME will give you uh, 30 tons per hectare. Now, the TME419 that you are looking for, TME, you see, the people that produce TME419 and uh, TGS 1414 and TGS, they are different names anyway. Let me not be cramming names for you. So the people that produce this, they produce it in mind so that they, they expect that when you plant that type of cassava, the water content, you know what we call content, water content? Water content means starch content. The water, the liquid inside that cassava will increase. So it's, it's that water content that the company, those big companies like uh, the uh, Thai, uh, Thai farming, there's a farm called Thai farming, I've been there. There's a, 
um, uh, about they are different. I don't want to be remembering their names. At least I've been to three or four of the processing factories of cassava. It is that starch content, the water content in the cassava that they want to buy from you. So these uh, hybrid people that are producing hybrid, they are producing what will suit the purpose of those uh, companies. Now, let me give you another, st another something there. If you now plant those uh, TME for one nail, those ones that are starch, the water content will be high. If you take this to those companies, eh, if you can eventually move it, you know the companies are located in, the, there's one in Agbara, there's one in Ososa, in Ogun State, there's one in uh, Oyo, the one in Oyo State doesn't even take from anybody, they have the farmers they work with. If you are not one of their farmers, they will not, they will not take cassava from you. They, at least, I've mentioned them like that. If you now take those cassava to them, especially the one in Ososa, the Thai farm in Ososa, all those ones, there's one, I can't remember the name of Agbara. If you take those cassava stems to them, one, they will tell you they are measuring the water content inside. How they measure it, I don't know. I was at Thai farm, we went with samples. They put it on top of one old, modern, one old, old type of measurement that you cannot read. They just you know, do abracadabra. Yes, I'm telling you the story of 2014. They just did one abracadabra and told us this is the starch content. How can we, that went to school, we got there, we, we can't read what, it, there's nothing to read. There is, there's a way they do, I don't know, it's one is outside the entire farm or society. Yes, you should test. So they just did it and they will be the one to tell you this is the, what the starch content. And they will tell you they're only paying for the starch content. Yes, they will be paying for the starch content only. So I don't know how they get to, how they get that result. I don't know. So it's just that you are, you know, personally to me, it's like you are just going there to throw your cassava away because how can you tell me you are measuring starch content that I don't know how to read and then you are the one that will give me, okay, it's 10%, it's 15, it's 12 or whatever, and you will pay with that price. That's one about cassava. Now, if you still plant that TME, whatever, whatever, and you take it to these companies, now, during, let me now give you one funny thing. If you plant the lo, uh, the TME cassava, whatever, there's another thing, I will loop them together now. If during time that there's no, there's no scarcity of cassava, do you know whether you plant TME, whether you plant the local cassava, you are going to sell the same price in the market. A rural farmer in my local village here yeah, or in some other places that plants ordinary cassava that didn't bother about TME, TGS, whatever. And you that planted TME, TGS and what is, you bought, you bought it, you pay, you pay highly for them. Some people travel so fast to go to IITA, but they are just coming you people. I'm sorry to use that word. So when you get that cassava stem, it is the same time. If cassava is cast in the market, both the local one and the hybrid, we command high price. If cassava is surplus in the market, both the local one and the hybrid, we both the local one and the hybrid. Oh, eighty two will be on me. Sit more online, you will be on me to judge the eighty two. My lomo online, on bomb. My lomo, kilo jale, kilo bag batele. To go there now. Okay, guys, let me be back in two minutes. They want me at the station. I'll be back in two minutes.